Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Um, yes, 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 I'm here. My name is Renette Upson Bush. I am the CEO and founder of Next Level Chicks. And the mantra here is to push you on purpose for the purpose of walking in your purpose and your destiny. Yes, you have purpose. Yes, you have destiny. You have an assignment that you were placed on this earth to do. And so this morning, as you are watching or whenever you're watching now or the replay, I want you to go ahead and share this out because this is definitely shareable material and something that people need to hear, something that you need to hear, something that you need to pay attention to and really think about and look at as you move forward in your life. And so as you see on my topic, it says committed, committed. So many of us have things that we said that we were going to do. We have dreams that we've been thinking about, um, dreams that we've been dreaming, uh, vision, uh, things that we really say we want to have, things we really want to do. So you say. And so my question this morning is, are you committed? Are you committed to what it is you say you're going to do? Are you committed or are you just interested? Because a lot of people say stuff, but they don't really mean that they want to do it. They saw somebody else do it or they thought about it. And so they just were interested because they haven't truly committed to what they said they wanted to do. When you really want something, you commit to it. You go all in. You step up. You go out. You go crazy to get what it is you said you want. And too many people who claim to be committed are truly interested and they wonder why I can't really get where I'm su supposed to be. Why can't I get to my next level? Why does everybody else seem to be getting there before me? Because you do it sometimes. Sometimes you in, sometimes you out. You come, you, you interested instead of committed. You're not going all in. And this may be stepping on some toes. And if that's what it's doing, then that's what it's supposed to do. Because it's time for you to get up and move and get committed to what it is you said you were going to do. So many people who have dreams, goals, and visions have been procrastinating on so many levels. You have said that you wanted these things, but you really are not committed to it. Like I said, you're just interested. You're not ready to get uncomfortable so that you can get what it is you want. When you really want something, sometimes you got to get uncomfortable. You can't sit comfortable and want something. You got to go out. You have to stretch yourself. You have to push yourself. You have to just go and commit yourself to what it is you said you wanted. And so many of you all who say that, like I said, you aren't willing to be uncomfortable. You rather just stay comfortable. So you accept less than what you deserve. You tolerate things that you're better than instead of really stepping up to the plate and saying, you know what? I'm not about to do this anymore. I'm going to commit to what I said I'm going to do. So if you really committed, and I'm going to tell you all some of the things that people do. They know they're in a relationship. They've been in it for years on top of years. They call their girlfriends complaining. They, they complain. They, they fuss and argue over and over and over with this man or whoever it is they're with. But yet and still, they have not set boundaries. They have not put things in place or decided that they'll leave. So you're still with that man doing the same thing that you've been doing five six seven years ago when you've been saying oh i'ma leave i'ma leave you still at that same job complaining about it every day all day about how they not paying you enough how they mistreating you how somebody got a a, a, a a raise and you didn't get one how they got a promotion and you didn't get one but yet and still you haven't put an application in somewhere else you haven't looked for even another job at all you just keep being upset keep complaining and keep doing the same thing over and over, looking for new stuff. No, you're not committed. You're interested. Interested. And that's what you got to stop. You got to get committed. You got to get committed. When you haven't put in any blood, sweat, and tears, and done the things that you're supposed to do, you are not committed. You are interested. 
And I know about that because I used to be like that. I used to be like that. Why are these people cutting the grass? I tell you what. Now, I just came in from exercising. And you know why I'm going to go in my house? I'm, I, uh, well, I, I'm outside. I just finished exercising. And I was trying to, um, I was trying to do this little live. And these people came in with this freaking lawnmower. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to just finish my little live here. So, what was I saying? So, yeah, you're not committed. You're not committed. You're interested. And I know about that because guess what? I used to be that too. Um, I'm going to tell y'all. Back in the day, um, I was diagnosed with diabetes. And I was told that I had pre-diabetes. But, you know, I just felt like, oh, well, whatever. I, I heard it, but I didn't know a lot about it. Didn't even commit to try to finding out anything about it. Kept doing what I wanted to do, how I wanted to do it, eating everything I wanted to eat, not exercising, not whatever, overweight, all this kind of stuff. So by the time I went back, my blood sugar was off the, off the roof, um, uh, off the chain. My um, A1, my blood sugar, my blood pressure, all of this kind of stuff. I was on all kinds of medicine. In fact, I was on like um, six pills a day. And so my job was totally stressful. And the doctor said, if you keep living this life, you are not going to be here in the next year or two. Now, that really got my attention. But the, the, the part about it is I should not have had to get to that point because I was warned before. I knew I needed to lose some weight. I knew I needed to do something different. And I would do stuff here and there because I was interested and not committed. But when I went to the diabetes center and they told me, you know, that I needed all these medications, I wouldn't be here. I got committed. Okay. I got committed instead of interested. I started exercising like crazy. I'm talking about before I went to work. I'm talking about on my lunch break walking. I'm talking about when I got home. And I'm talking about five to six hours a day of exercise. That's how committed I was. I struggled with, you know, um, eating right, but I was trying to do better. But can I tell you when I truly committed, it really changed my life. It changed everything because from it was... September when I started, you know, really trying to do stuff, really trying to do stuff. In October, I got totally committed. That's when I started the five to six hours. So from October to January of the next year, I lost 32 pounds just exercising, drinking water. I ate pretty much what I wanted to eat. eat. I didn't overeat, but I got committed. That's the bottom line. I got committed. And so Today, I'm trying to tell y'all, you need to get committed to what it is you said you were going to do. You have to stretch yourself. You got to get yourself uncomfortable. Get out of the situations that you've been sitting comfortable in. You complaining about it. So you're not really comfortable. You have a pain. And normally when you have a pain, like you got a headache, you take some aspirin. But see, y'all got pains that you're not taking care of. You're not medicating and you need to medicate. You need to get yourself in a position to change your situation. So that's why you have to get committed. You have to hold yourself accountable. That's why I'm inviting you to Next Level Chicks today. Because some of you all really truly need to get around some people that are doing stuff. People that have, you know, this ambition. People that are committed to really doing what they said they were going to do. Or you say you committed, but you want to be held accountable. That's what I had to do. I had to get around people who were committed, who were wanting to hold themselves accountable. I changed my whole circle. When I started this, I changed my whole circle. Not only did I lose the weight and do what I needed to do, that's when I left my job. And I decided that, you know what, I can do what I'm doing. I, I can be an entrepreneur. I can do what I said I'm going to do. I can lose this weight. I can start a business. I'm going to commit to my commitments. I'm going to have my dreams. I am enough. In fact, I'm more than enough. I'm a masterpiece because I was made by the master. And so I just decided to make a decision to commit. And today I want you to make that decision too, to commit to your next level, to commit 
to what it is you said you were going to do, to commit to your dreams, your goals, and your vision. And I'm inviting you to a space and place where you can do that in Next Level Chicks. Sometimes you just have to be in a space and place in order to get the transformation and the change you need. And like I said, that's sitting up there with a pounding headache, a migraine, and not taking anything for it. It's not going to just go away if you don't work on it, if you don't take something for it. You need to get something to resolve your pain. Can I ask you, is your pain more important than your purpose? Do you rather sit in pain than to move forward and to live a life of happiness, wealth, success, joy, peace? Or you want to keep suffering in pain? You got to make a decision. Sis, it's time to do something different. It's time to really get committed. I'm inviting you to this community. This is not about pay for me. It's about purpose. Because I want y'all to really live in your purpose, to really walk in your dreams, to really have peace. And I'm telling you this because I've lived so long unhappy, no peace, no direction, no commitment, none of what I needed to be living in. Knew I was better, knew I deserved better, but never would commit long enough. When I heard people talking about coaching, I kind of thought that was a waste of time and stupid. Therapy, you know, when you grow up black, you don't supposed to go to therapy. That's kind of taboo. So I didn't think, you know, I never thought would think about therapy or coaching or anything like that. I thought I could do it all by myself. I could do what I needed to do. But guess what? One day, like I said, I got around the right circle and it changed my whole life. So once I got around the right circle, I see them doing great things. I see them going to the next level. I see them committing to their commitments. I said, you know what? I got to do this. I got to get committed to my commitment because I can have what I say. They always say, I could have what I say. I said, I could have what I say too, but I guess I need to commit and do what I need to do. So I finally got committed, started doing what I said I was going to do, exercising. Like I said, quit my job. Decided to start a business. Now, I had a plan to do that before. Let me tell you, I did. But I really got committed when I quit. Because I, I was at the job trying to, you know, get the business started. I wasn't really committed. I was here there. I was interested. I was kind of looking for buildings because I was getting ready to open a school. But at the point where I really got committed, when I got committed and I really started doing it, I started going all in for my, with my health. And then I started going all in on my business. I got a coach, and I really started doing what I needed to do. Now, this isn't about business coaching, of course. This is about mastering your own life. This is about personal development, coaching you to walk in your purpose, coaching you to live a life of happiness, success, and wealth, coaching you to commit to your commitments and holding you accountable, empowering you, giving you motivation, inspiration, connecting with like-minded women inspiration, motivation to do things that are going to take you to your next level. That's what this is about. I needed that more than I needed any business coaching, any other kind of coaching. I needed some mindset things. I need to reset my mind, recalibrate, refocus, refresh, renew, because I had been in such a bad space and negative place for so long. And I'm so passionate about this because I know what it did for my life. And when my life changed for the better, I was able to change the lives of the people around me, change the lives of my children, change the lives of my husband, let my parents see like, oh, she's different. My friends, some of them got to stay and some of them had to go. If we can't grow together, we can't go together because I can't let people keep holding me back. I couldn't let people keep holding me down. I couldn't keep sitting in that negativity. And that's what some of us do when we really are not committed 
to what we said we want, when we're really not committed to our own success, peace, wealth, happiness, joy, all the things in life that's going to let us live the life we want to live. I don't care what it is you do, where it is you work, or you have a business, whatever. It's about your purpose and you having peace and happiness. Happiness is free. You have to just tap into it. And so that's what I need y'all to do today. Decide to commit to what it is you want to do. Decide to commit to live a life of peace, happiness, success, joy, wealth, everything you want. Decide to put yourself first and commit to your commitments. Join me in Next Level Chicks. Click the link in the bio and then go to uh, membership. And if you need individual coaching as well, you can go to that work with me. Because some people need individuals, some people get both. Whatever it is you need, when you click the link, you're going to have inspiration choices. Because it's inspiration, motivation on top of that. It's my books. It's all kinds of stuff. But I'm, I'm here to really invite you to next level chicks. But if you need, you know, individual coaching as well, that's fine. But get something. Get committed. Get committed to what you say you want to do. Get committed. Okay? So you can change your life. I'm here to help. Let me help you. Let's do this thing so you can go to your next level and do what you said you were going to do. All right. Every day and every way, make sure you keep it next level. Listen to this over and over again. Let it resonate in your spirit. Share it out. Tell people about it. We have a great community that has transformed several lives that is really making a difference. I have a mandate to help push 1 million plus women to the next level. And I'm just kind of getting started. But guess what? It's going to happen. And I want you to get to your next level. So join me. Talk to you later.